And welcome back to part two, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube of our Lab of Legends. We are now in heroic mode. This is the big jump. We're gonna have heroic and legendary up next. If you watch part one, we defeated normal and hard mode and now heroic and legendary. So the big change here, in addition to your extra health and items from hard mode, now the enemies summon reinforcements at the game start. So that's what's gonna make this more difficult. But I have faith in Fizz. Fizz will be victorious. So we had the free rerolls at the um, at the start of the game, and so we we have been you know like just getting the the Von Yip power. Now that's that's what we'll do here for like you know for these videos because you know I'm kind of speed running a little bit because these are a longer thing and uh, you know like we're playing multiple of these. Uh, levels each each uh, video right like we're gonna be doing heroic and legendary in this video but there's a lot of very cool um, powers and I kind of don't really recommend what we're doing here of looking for the best power especially unless like ex unless you're on legendary mode right like once you get to legendary mode but you know maybe you know Try to test yourself a little bit of like giving yourself like maybe like three rerolls at the beginning or, or something like that. Um, that's what I kind of recommend. But we're I'm you know making a YouTube video and so I want the games to be a little faster, <laughs> you know, because it can take you more time to defeat it. But you know it will it'll help uh, make you a better player. Um, you know if you if you don't just have like the best stuff immediately all the time. But however for for Fizz. The um, best power is the Yip's Genius because there's a lot of one cost units. Granting them the plus two, plus two is certainly important. So we're gonna go and go, go with that with our uh, speed run here for Fizz. Especially for the earlier modes, maybe we should have gone with other stuff though. All right, we're gonna mulligan all of our cards, looking for Fizz. So they start with a, a unit in play. For the spiders, it's only Pesky Spectre. Not bad. There's Fizz. We're gonna play Fizz next round, because I want to go uh, double Double trouble. Right here, and we actually hit Pool Shark, so we will go ahead and draw a fleeting card at round start. Oh, I guess we still only have, yeah, we still have just the three mana, so never mind. Sorry, Fizz. We're actually going to just wait on you. Alright, the Pandras, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out today. Yeah, Malphite. Yeah, Malphite's a, a tough one to learn all the ropes with and everything. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and parlay. This round we'll be playing Fizz. I don't need to Mystifying Magician anything. Okay, open attack should do it. And get us first out of nine levels finished up. So each each one of these runs you have um, nine opponents to defeat. So that's the first of nine. And they get progressively more difficult. First three are in Shadow Isle, second three are in Freljord, last three are in Piltover and Zon. Oh, Malphite for the Lava Legends. He's too slow. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because he's seven mana. You got him down to four cost, but lost too much health in the process. Lost to Victor. Oh, yeah, losing to Victor is kind of rough. All right, we're going to go with Katarina with these. We can give Might to some of our stuff, which could be really, really good. But Legion Saboteur with our 
Uh, Vanyip's genius is really nice. So let's go cat. Keep double trouble. So basically keeping our things that make one cost units because of our power. But yeah, this is where it gets it gets more difficult, right? Because like they just have a bark beast to start with. So if I play Fizz. Okay, so this is alright, so this is misgrades. Never mind. So they're not gonna just play another unit immediately. That's still easily the best target to parlay, so maybe I should just be leading with parlay. Alright, so I'm going Katarina here instead of Double Trouble because I want to be able to... Yeah, I'm going to do one to that in case it blocks the Coral Creatures. Because I want to be able to play the leveled up Katarina next round and continue attacking. solves everything! But I don't know, Double Trouble plus Legion Saboteur does sound pretty sweet. Whoa. That's a big Wraith Caller. Alright, you know what? We'll go with that, we'll go with some spells. <laughs> the Wings of the Wave? Oh, and then that one's a 2 power also? Ah. Uh. So we hit two zero power. <laughs> One drops. What are the odds of that? Alright, let's go two to this. Give you vulnerable. And that'll be game. I was gonna, you know, have Katarina, but of course, they're just taking lethal. Okay, two out of nine done. Fizz, two, legendary. It's like, we played so much in the labs and we're only at 229 out of 400. <laughs> Takes a while going through those quests to get the prismatics. Oh yes, plus two, plus two. That's the best one. When I'm some yeah, so we have when I'm summon draw a card and when I'm summon create a fleeting copy of me in hand. But we don't really need fleet, fleeting copies of either of these, especially yeah, so plus two plus two, the phage. That's just the best. So uh, got a good run going on here. None of these are too exciting. TBH. I guess Death's Hand. Because I don't think I'm going to like actually spend mana on the Lounging Lizard or the Cloven Way ever, so I guess Death's Hand. Because it's possible we find we get like the power that, um, you know, where we fill our spell mana every single round, and then that Death's Hand is actually zero cost. So the Sparrow says, it's sort of weird they made all... Uh, four landmark champions their own mode and none of them are support champions to be able to combo with. That's that's a good point. They, they probably should have had one of them be able to support the others. Alright, we'll just mulligan all of you. That's a good point. That, that would have made sense. Attacking. I assume that. Well, I guess I assume wrong. I guess that's going to be a zero mana one one. It's not a one mana one one. I 
Alright, so Thresh is a boss fight. After the boss fights, your Nexus health gets reset. So we can safely take the damage. And not really worry about it too much. Because our Nexus health will be reset. Let's go. Oh no. If I playful trickster that, does it still black spirit? Okay, I'm gonna just do this play for science. Really, I should be using might on the fizz. I'm gonna just do this play for science. Does it still? Oh, okay, it still follows it, it still kills it. Boo. That's not a bad play, though. I guess that's not that bad of a play. <laughs> yeah, for science! Professor Heimerdinger said. Get that nice attack for six. And I get to keep might. Which can be mighty useful. That's right, I said it. I don't think they ever know how Doom Beast works. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, and Fizz, finish him off. There we go. Alright, first boss done. We get new power. New powers are like the most exciting thing, not gonna lie. We did kind of cheat for the best possible power to start with, so maybe we just do like no rerolls. Um, I mean, these are awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'll just take Nature's Revenge. That's a good power. So when you gain the attack token, summon a sapling. Saplings... So we'll get sapling every time we have the attack token. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's a great power. And these are all pretty decent. You know, one mana spells are good with fizz, especially if they're like burst speed. Rush, elixir of wrath. Pretty useful. I'm gonna take the elixir of wrath because it does the most damage. That's what we're here for, dealing damage. All right, so no, uh, no rerolls used yet. So maybe we can go through this without using any rerolls. I basically haven't really used rerolls except for, um, you know, the with normal mode I used one reroll because we just had like three complete blanks, and then the hard mode I used. I used all three rerolls, but just on like the first power, kind of just for for fun, for checking more powers because they look just to see more powers because they look cool. Used all three rerolls at that time. A true welcome. All right, gotta be ready for that against the hunters. They've done that every single time. Chill in the air. No. No one's the one. Frostbite in the fizz. Okay, this uh, gain the attack token, get a sapling. Pretty nice power. Can't afford to miss. Oh, a nice four four. I have urgent news. Okay, so this should just be an open attack. Oh, I guess I could play the saboteur, but this should just be an open attack win. And that's why we didn't play the saboteur because I had the sapling, obviously, duh. Definitely remember that. GG's. All 
All right, feeling pretty good about our chances right about now. Whoa, we can get a Darius? But Darius costs so much. All right, so none of these are very good. Not gonna lie, none of these are very good. This is where we could use a reroll. Um, if we want to use rerolls. If not, I would probably choose the Pocket Aces Health Potion. But I guess I'll just go ahead and do it. We'll just go ahead and reroll. We have two mana Riptide. Hunt the Weak. Win cast, cast me again on the same targets. Make them discard two followers. That just doesn't matter. <laughs> None of these cards matter. They're just getting us all these expensive cards that they just don't matter. I guess we can have, like, Reckoning. Yeah. All right, we just used all of our rerolls. There we go, Crackshot Corsair with Scout. That's a card that matters. That's a one drop. Um, I guess I'm gonna get double Death Sand. We could draw a card with Elixir of Wrath, but that doesn't, we don't really want to draw cards. Let's get double Death Sand. That's cool. Yeah, if Darius was worded like half or less health, that would, that would help out in this mode. But that's true, that's a good point, I didn't think about that. But yeah, with Darius being just 10 or less, can be a problem, especially like later on, they start with like 35. I should have expected that. Alright, Fizz ain't dead yet. So we used all of our re-rolls and didn't really get anything good for using all the re-rolls. Just got a double <laughs> Death Sand. That really isn't that important. I guess I could, uh, maybe we'll just attack. We do. I was gonna say like, you know, like we can turn the sapling into a five drop, but I guess a four, three challenger is basically a five drop. All right. Let's keep this going. We're about halfway through for heroic now. Yuck. And I'm out of rerolls. Looks like we're taking Monster Harpoon. They can summon the one cost Poro. We don't need Ride of Dominance, obviously, and Ravenous Flock. We're not really doing that either, so it looks like we're taking that. And Parlay. Oh, but Double Trouble gets minus one cost. Oh, so we can have two mana Double Trouble or Parlay that Parlay that's you know has the one you know, get a one cost Poro. Um so that's really nice, getting a one-cost Poro with that. Thing is, we are, our round threes are kind of bad. Or sorry, our round twos. Our round twos are usually kind of bad, so double trouble only going to, round, to two mana is really nice. But this would actually make parlay, like, worth something and do something good. So that's good, too. Mm, both those are good. 
Let's go with... I'm gonna go with the parlay. Whoops. So basically, on on its like by itself, I think that the the double trouble going to two mana reduce the cost of one is actually better. But this turns like the other parlays into being much more useful cards than, the, than what they currently are. And so I think just the improvement of the three parlays is worth more than um. all right so we got crack shot corsair with scout and as you know scout's really important because every time we gain the attack token we get a sapling so that was sweet Crackshot Corsair is actually just, like, awesome for us. <laughs> In range. Yeah. That card pretty good. Alright, we'll go with the Petty Officer, get a one-drop. Put him down to two. And finish it off round three. Okay. So, Crackshot Corsair, amazing. <laughs> Let's try to find that card more. All right, when you summon an ally, grant its keywords to all allies. Love it. When you summon a unit, grant a fury. Love it. Round start rally. That is just so good. Sorry, round start rally is just amazing for us. Um, let's go ahead and twin shadows the fizz. Get multiple fizz immediately. So... We have the power that whenever we get the attack token, we get a sapling. Also, the saplings get plus two, plus two. Also, every single round, we get the attack token because we get to rally. That's what we're talking about. All right, we're going to keep the, the parlay. Parlay is quality. And there's a fizz. I should maybe just be attacking this Vanya first. Before something like that happens. Okay, round start. Rally. And the parlays, remember, get the poros. All right, daring poro. Do we get scout poro? Destin poro. Ooh. I do not want to trade Destin poro for scrap scuttler because we are not far away from leveling up our fizz. We just got to cast three more spells. Go get him, Destin Poro. And that'll do. Another round three kill. All right, now we got we got some really good powers right here. If we had these powers with, uh, you know, with Legendary, I'd be very, very happy if we get all these. So no rerolls, of course. I'm not taking this this brave in. 
We're taking one of these, and I guess we're gonna do the parlay whenever you cast, get two more parlays back into the deck. We'll just do that. The parlay is a good quality card. All right, guard bots. And parlays are good against the guard bots, right? Because they just get all the turrets. So yes, that's even, even better. All right, we need to kill Heimer. Immediately. So I'm just attacking right away before they start playing stuff and getting more um, guard bots. So I'll wait on the parlays for, you know, like their three ones, four ones, five ones, that kind of stuff. Oh man, getting Doomkeeper is just like not even fair. <laughs> wow, Doomkeeper is ridiculous. But we did also hit this Shell Shocker that did um, a tune. Oh, that thing is tough. I forgot about that. I can't kill that. That's tough. Yeah, I should have I should have played this first before, because then we would have had this tough poro. Get another Poro. Let the bloodshed begin. Orient to the field. Now I've lost my place. So Katarina will be able to rally for us, but we already have Round Star Rally. But then again, every time that we rally, we get every time we get gain the attack token. We get that sapling. Yeah, they don't really have much of a chance. They put up a good fight. Alright, down to one. I know I could use my Oh come on, we gotta use Katarina, right? What Katarina do lethal? Okay, we're on to the final boss. Our deck is really good. <laughs> Maybe even better than the first one that we had. Yeah, it probably is with that round star rally. Oh, parlays can cost zero now? Oh, but then we also could get more Fizz. They'd have a plus two, plus zero. I guess I got to go Fizz. Man, this these are two great cards to hit. Oh, man, I, I want zero. Okay, never mind. I'm going to get zero cost parlays. Like, that's just a, such a big difference between one and zero um, as far as the cost goes, right? So we can just play a lot of stuff right away. And the parlays make more parlays. That's when you know you have a good card. You're choosing it over your amazing champion. Okay, we got Crackshot Corsair, which is wonderful. And a Parlay, and a Fizz. Okay, so we'll go Crackshot Corsair to start with. We'll attack, get the attack token. All right, now zero cost parlay. Kill that, get a Poro. Dang, they went from 35 down to 18, round one, and got rid of their, their blocker, their big ballistic bot. All that round one. And it's not like round two is gonna be. And then we're still gonna attack. Oh man, we're gonna kill them round two. 
Yeah, they're dead. I only need to spend two mana and they die. One mana on a parlay and one mana on a fizz. And that's it. Final boss dead round two. Or not not one mana parlay, so one mana crack shot corsair. So yeah, we just went one on crack shot corsair, one on fizz. Negative nine. <laughs> on heroic mode. That was ridiculous. Yeah, that was, that was pretty solid, right? Okay, heroic mode is complete. We had, this is just amazing powers right here, these three together. On to legendary, fizz to legendary. What do we get with this loot? All right. Dude, that was, yeah, that was gross. <laughs> Gotta go for turn one next time. I don't even know if you can do turn one with, with Fizz and that. I don't know. Maybe we can. Oh, uh... Legendary. Okay, so legendary mode. Um, of course... This is really where, this is like the, honestly, the time that you'd want to use your rerolls is on legendary mode. I know we did it on the earlier modes, but we were kind of, um, you know, speed running. Oh, no, I just had it and I just passed it. Sorry. We were kind of speed running, but I also didn't really want to lose one and then, you know, go through the, you know, half hour, 40 minutes run and then lose at the very end and then have to rejoin. I messed it up. I had it. There it is. All right. Yep's genius. The last legendary time. Here we go. Yeah, I think turn three was my old record also. I think that's my first time doing a turn two kill. I think it is. All right, so with Legendary, like the difference is they, they start with the three spell mana now. So they still have that unit in play immediately and everything, but they can they start with the three spell mana so they can um, you know, have some faster starts and some more interaction right away. I gotta take it. I can't let Fizz die to another Vile Feast. Alright, so I'll put him down to two. So we don't want to take too much damage here. Cool. All right, we'll just block We're down to 26. Should have a fairly good attack. We're gonna be drawing three cards beginning of this round. What we got? Magician, Coral Creatures, and Coral Creatures. All right, none of those matter. Well, we gotta, gotta play a spell first. Give the Elusive to Fizz. We got Elusive and Fearsome and a couple others. Hopefully one of these two hit between the Elusive and the Fearsome. Alright, that'll do. Alright, Road to Legendary. 
first stage complete. Experiment succeeded. Zoe! Yo, we got Zoe? Oh, man. Yo, we got Zoe. We got two one-mana champions with our Von Yip ability. Oh, man. This, this run's already starting off pretty epic. We already got a great start. Oh, wow. Yeah, so keep those. They're, they're one drops. Because, yeah, Zoe brings along Spacey Sketcher, which is another one drop. Okay. This run has a lot of potential. Now, you know, it's all going to be about, like, what powers we get. Last time, we got some crazy good powers. But we got some potential here. I'm never casting you, Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Oh man. We are doing it. Oh, and the crack shot Corsair. Where are you? Alright. Got us covered. You. Get me out of here. And that's game, round three. Another round three kill. Alright, so we get champion power. None of these powers are very good. Regeneration, spell shield, or plus three, plus three, but ephemeral. None of them are very good. Do I want to use a reroll here, though? Because the thing is, is like the actual powers are kind of what we want to use the rerolls on. Like that's the best thing to use the rerolls on. I guess we could just do like regeneration. You know that or a spell shield, you know, like one of those. I guess we could just do that. I guess. And I don't know which one's better to, to hit Zoe or Fizz, honestly. Maybe Zoe's. Zoe may be better. Because you get that super cool star chart. Alright, I guess we'll go spell shield Zoe. That's not very good, though. And man, none of these are playable. I guess Broadback Protector, in case we have not much Nexus health for some reason. But I'm going to save the rerolls. Saving them for the powers. Because we definitely wanted, like, a, you know, plus, plus one, plus one, or plus two, plus two, something like that. Okay, well, we haven't gotten any of our champions yet. We weren't going to be able to e Equinox that thing, which is why I didn't take it. This is not good. This is not good. Alright, so worst case scenario, you know, I, I do get to like Broadback Protector or Spray Thin this next round. Looks like that's what we're doing. Do I just go Protector? No, we go Spray Thin. That's why we go Spray Thin. Oh, 
Okay, now we're back at it. Looked bleak for a second, now we're back. <laughs> Pesky Spectre. Uh oh. I'm actually just gonna stun this. Yeah, let's just stun it. That seems reasonable. I don't really want to block with any of those things. So they're down to seven. All right, see if we hit another elusive. No elusive. They also didn't play anything. Their plan was Black Spear. All right, so they're down to two. I don't like two. I don't like the Mina two. This is still kind of scary. Weird, weird timing. Another obstacle. All right, spell shield Zoe should get this done. Shield Zoe. Ooh, all right, that was kind of close. That's the closest we've been so far. But Thresh was the boss. So boss fights get to reset your Nexus health. The Nexus health will be reset. All right, start of the game. Summon a random landmark from your deck. We don't have any. Round start, Frostbite, the strongest enemy. When you target an ally with a single target spell. Okay, so none of these do anything. So we're going to re-roll. When you summon an ally, give it Challenger. That one's not bad. Start a game, summon Emperor's deck. Wait, what? Oh, Emperor's Dias. Oh, okay. I, I thought you, like, you just got the Emperor's deck at the start of the game. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and it's a common? All right, so we get the, the Emperor's Dias. That's the, the thing that, that gets Sand Soldiers into play. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do it. We get Sand Soldiers each time that we attack. Because the Sand Soldiers are going to be 3-3s three that deal an additional point of damage. So that does sound pretty cool. And I think I'm going to go with the Elixir of Iron. Just the cheapest, cheapest card here. Don't think I really need Bone Skewer. I don't want to use. I only. I only want to use rerolls on powers. So that's a new. That's a new power. Get this emperor's dais at the beginning of the game. So we. Yeah, not bad. Get a big sand soldier. Yeah, this is actually broken. True. Oh, brittle seal my fizz. Where did that one run off to? Yes, the charger. 
Because the charger gonna be big. I gotta attack with an elusive zero power fizz. They didn't even block the 6 3. Alright, that Thresh game may be the closest we come to losing. Me. I don't know. I don't, I don't want any of these. I guess I could have stunned that. I'll play that messenger sigil. I'll get some puppies in my deck. Yeah, puppy. But of course we're just going with the open attack. And that'll do. Okay, four down, five to go. Fizz to legendary. Got to spend a little bit more mana there. Wiggly Burblefish, plus three, plus three, but ephemeral. Or Scythria, minus one cost. So the problem with Scythria, minus one cost, is then it, then it's a zero mana unit, so you don't get we don't get the bonus. So usually I'd just take Cyth Scythria here and get the bonus, but... Could do Burblefish? No, I guess we just take zero mana, two twos. Yeah, we'll just take zero mana two twos. Oh, I was getting I was so happy to see Fizz here so we could get more reinforcements for Fizz, but it says plus three plus three, then ephemeral. Oh, I don't want to make ephemeral fizz. Oh, warning shots to get Poros. Yes, Poros next. Okay, so just more zero cost stuff. Yeah, so zero zero mana Scythria, and now zero mana Poro warning shot. And we already start with the sand soldiers. We can do a lot of damage round one if we get the right hand. Which has none of these cards. Where's our champions? New recruit reporting in. I've got these. No champion. Fight or die. Alright, three three quick attack. The Winter's Claw! I won't back down! <laughs> Alright, cool. Zero Mana Scythria did something. You'll fight or you'll swim! Let the flames take you! Double back for the next kill! We just have some parts of our deck that just aren't very good. Throwing away everything. And we'll maybe play the Scythria, but we'll see. I'll just keep the space open for now. Yes. Um. You know what? I'll play it. I'm going to skip. And I'm going to transform it. What is up, Darkaz? Darkaz is huge. All right, probably stun that thing. Okay, so I probably don't need to attack with the three one with Tarkaz. Oh, I guess that's true. Tark has V Scar Grounds. Oh, it has to attack or have been stunned, not dealt damage or stunned. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. I make shepherding look easy. Okay. You'll block there and uh, you block here. Rose? 
Because the Tarkaz just kills itself anyway. Alright, actually, we're just gonna block here. Spell Thief. I haven't played any spells. Nothing for me to Thief. Okay, got through Scar Mother. Now we need Sejuani before we get an additional power. And then it's on over to Victor's region. Alright, so far so good. And that wasn't, that was not like one of our best uh, games for sure. Alright, none of these are that good. I do have two re-rolls. We could re-roll. Zenith Blade would probably be the one I'm the most interested in. Obviously not Strong Arm, so it's just the other two. I, I, I kind of want to use a re-roll, because I don't really want either of these cards. Alright, Parlay. When, when cast, cast me again. Okay, we can do that. We can cast multiple Parlays. So I want cards that don't cost, like, any mana. Pick a card, cost zero mana. We can do that. I like zero mana cards. Alright, we'll take zero mana, pick a card. We're getting a lot of zero and one cost cards. And that's what I like. If you cost two, that's too much. Alright, keep in warning shots. Looking for our champions. There we go, found some champions. Starts at four health. That's a lot of health. This land is out. Hmm. Right, three out of ten for Zoe. I'm, I need the Serpent to kill the, the Weirding Stones. Why are they blocking the Ephemeral? Oh, right. <laughs> this thing's elusive. That's a good reason why not to block it, because it's elusive. That's a good point. Sparrow says that Lissandra's tough nexus and some of the stall stuff could actually let you, in the uh, lab here, outgrind some PNZ. That's a good, good point. All right, let's go double parlay. So it's two parlays, so that should be five out of six now for Fizz. Still have a super cool star chart to protect Fizz. Alright, so if I just attack, should be pretty lethal. We can also play some more cards first. I don't really see why not. Level up, Zoe! We didn't find like a, a cool unit that we could play right there to also, you know, to have for the level up Zoe, but 
That works. Okay, GG's. Second champ down. Yeah, I, I agree, Sparrow says, I would, I would love to have a bit more enemy variety over just some more champs. Yeah, I think that's like the next step that, you know, let's get some more, some more enemies. You know, maybe round one, you can have like the Shadow Isles or the Noxus, right? You know, and like in round two, you get Freljord or Demacia. In round three, it's PNZ or Targon, right? You know, like that'd be pretty cool. So we could get another Seed of Power, round start, summon another Emperor's Dies, or our created cards cost one less, or whenever you attack Nab 1. We don't really want to attack Nab 1, we really don't. So let's go with another Seed of Power. Yeah, let's do it. And minus one cost. Oh, we don't actually want minus... Usually we take minus one cost and be very happy about that, but we don't actually want that because we want these to be one cost cards for our power, so... Uh, Let's go ahead and re-roll. And when you cast a spell, grant me plus one, plus one. Yes, please. And we'll go with, I guess, the Zoe. Because we already have... We already have the power on the Zoe for the spell shield. Dream Scenario would be a boss for each region at each tier. That would be dream scenario. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Okay, I don't know if y'all are ready for this. I don't think y'all are ready for what's about to happen. I don't I don't know if y'all are ready. I can cast everything in my hand. All right, so we're going to go warning shot, plus 1 plus 1, warning shot, plus 1 plus 1. We'll go Zero cost, Scythria, and we'll pick a card, put a pick a card back, and now we get multiple sand soldiers. Honestly, probably the better play was just to put the, Scyth the Scythria back and just attack, and keep the other... Um, zero cost. Draw one. I like the kind of the new art on the on the puff caps. All right, that was pretty good. All right, we need to kill. We need to kill Professor Vanya. Yeah, was that a that's a balance turn one? Next time you don't like Aurelia Azir, just watch that round one. <laughs> we just played everything in our hand. Alright, zero cost, pick a card. Super cool star chart. Get A the charger. Level up Fizz. So I probably should have just gone to attacks instead of playing that 6-3 because then they got the elusive blocker. Yeah, so it's got that black out outline now. That's pretty cool. How close are you leveling up? Seven? Seven still is a ways away. I've already played the charger, but the charger is the best card. So this is going to be eight. Coral Creatures, 9. Sleepy Trouble Bubble, 10.
Alright, so leveled up Zoe. And then we'll play the Charger. Oh, I don't have the mana for the Charger. Never mind, I was going to play the Charger and give them all overwhelm. Alright, never mind. Spray Fin, they, all, they all get elusive. you to give the plus one for give some more plus ones for Zoe and they're all elusive and that should do okay so we're done with the foundry we still have the bots and then Victor yeah really soul size Zoe Maybe I should have put it on the Fizz, because we're doing Fizz to Legendary. But both Fizz and Zoe are basically, they're both amazing. I, I just kind of picked the Zoe, because we've been killing everybody with Fizz so far. They are both amazing. Oh, wow. Plus two, plus two for Zoe. Wow. Let's go. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. I mean, I don't, I don't have any rerolls left. I couldn't change it anyway, but that's easy. All right, this Zoe's getting unfair big. Where you at, Zoe? Where you at, Fizz? Okay. No Zoe, no Fizz. There's a Zoe. And I'll just attack like this. I could buff up the Zoe by playing the pick a card, but I actually like both Parlay and Spacey Sketcher. Okay, it's not a bad round one. Oh, that thing's a 5 1 now. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna parlay that. But I'm not killing this Heimer. Alright, let's put Coral Creatures back, I don't want that card. We'll discard you. Get a the Charger. Could've taken the zero mana 2-1, but... You know, one mana six three overwhelms. They don't come along every day. All right, warning shot. Get a poro. Sweet, and a lose poro. Man, this is brutal. They start with turn zero Heimerdinger and. Our wrecking shop. All right, I guess I'll get. All right, I guess we'll get the serpent now. Basically, just so you know, I can help try to help level up Zoe. All right, so they got leveled up, Heimer. Eight out of ten. I don't have room for my Poro. With my warning snack. Let's go with all y'all. Challenge you. So that will be lethal. We'll also Elixir of Iron make it more lethal. And there we go. Round five getting done. 
We have Victor as final boss. Alright, the final boss. Keeping Fizz from being at legendary. Did we get a prismatic? Oh, we did it. Okay. Um before we get there, let's see let's get our prismatic. We got a common. I'm thinking esteemed aerophant. Yeah, like that just looks really cool. Yeah, the other cards are whatever. All right, esteemed aerophant, join the club. Join the collection. All right, back to our lab. Final boss. No rerolls, so we get one cost sleepy trouble bubble. Fizz is plus three plus three, but ephemeral. Why Ephemeral Fizz? Or whenever we cast Double Trouble, we heal our Nexus for three. Not bad options, honestly. Not bad options kind of across the board. I've, I've never really done the plus whatever, plus whatever, but Ephemeral, but I kind of want to do that with Fizz. I don't know. No, no, we don't need it. We don't need Ephemeral Fizz. All right, let's just take the Double Trouble Yeah, double trouble would be just fine. Only is some other buff for the Fizz, not Ephemeral. I, mean, I don't know if I should be mulligating the double trouble because it, it is pretty great. Right, like we get two one drops that both get plus one plus one, or sorry, plus two plus two. And we heal our Nexus for three. New recruit reporting in. Yeah. All right, Zoe's already at one. And that's important that they block with the Ballistic Bot, so now my Parlay can kill the Ballistic Bot. And our Parlay gets cast twice. That's two plus one plus ones for Zoe. So that's like already lethal. <laughs> round three. I guess last time we did a round two, but legendary round three lethal. Wow. All right, experiment succeeded. There we go. We took Fizz, started from normal, went speed run. We we did cheat, I guess. If you know, we used the free rerolls to always get the uh, Yips, uh, Von Yips genius, to always have them have the plus two plus two. But we were able to go through and uh, get that in about two hours and twenty minutes total of record time. So you know, talking between the rounds and stuff for uh, starting from normal and going on up hard heroic legendary. So there we go. So I have now finished as far as legendary goes with Fizz, Lucian, and Braum. We did the Braum on um, YouTube before. And uh, so there we go. So that's, that's a lot of fun. Lab of Legends, lots and lots of fun. If you're kind of down about ranked right now, and not, not really enjoying the metagame with, you know, like the top decks. I definitely recommend playing Lab of Legends. Now, you know, I kind of did the easy mode with the free rerolls. Yeah. 
you know, but you can challenge yourself. If, if it's too easy for you, you know, you kind of get through it pretty quickly like we did there with the Fizz. You can challenge yourself and just say, you know, no free re no free rerolls. You get your three rerolls. Or maybe at the beginning, you know, put a number on it. Maybe, okay, I'll, I'll get three rerolls for the first one. And then after that, you know, you have your rerolls after that. If you want to make it super challenging, try to win with no rerolls whatsoever, right? Like even the very first one, no rerolls. And then after that, how you usually have the three, just say, no, I'm not going to use a single one. And, you know, so you, you get to, so that's what's great about this. You get to vary the difficulty. If you're struggling, you know, get, get like, go find that, like that, uh, very, the very best power and start with that at the beginning, you know, see if, but if you're doing really well with it, you know, you can make it more difficult. Um, <laughs> yep. So it's, yes. And that's what Sparrow says. It's a lot less easy without using Vanya's genius. Yeah, for sure. So, um, even we kind of we did speed run version easy mode to get through legendary in a uh, kind of a normal amount of time but lots of fun all right tomorrow we're gonna have kindred spotlight talk about hard mode <laughs> we're gonna be playing some kindred decks and ranked and going from there um but uh until then those y'all watching later on youtube leave those comments and of course as always thank you so much for watching i can't ever say that enough and both me and puppy Puppy, say bye. We'll see you for the next video. Bye. And of course, Harvey. Harvey's down here too. Harvey, can you can you say bye? <laughs> you can barely see Harvey. She's right here. There you go. See you right there. All right. Thanks for watching.